The Ghana Prison Service, whose operation is to be in charge of custody, welfare and rehabilitation of prisoners, has come under the public complaint of overcrowding in the incarceration of prisoners in Ghana. In the past, the prisons were just meant for punishment. People were sent to prisons to be punished. This time around, people are sent to prisons as a punishment. So the next thing to do is to ensure that they get back into society reformed. The correctional system is designed to keep society at large safe by separating them from individuals who have committed crimes. We do this classification in order to prevent what we call contamination. And we do this by putting together people according to the crimes they committed. For example, those who are into less serious, serious crimes such as stealing are put together. And those who were into serious crimes like murder and armed robbery are also put together. Those into sexual offenses are put together so that in the prisons, one does not contaminate the other. A total of 43 prison facilities have been seen as inadequate to house prisoners as the authorized capacity of the prison stands at 10,000 prisoners. Overcrowding has become an issue among inmates in Ghana. Currently, the Ghana Prison Service is faced with the challenge of overcrowding. There is serious overcrowding in the prisons to the extent that a prison that has a capacity of about 800 is taking well over 3,000. This is not helping in the area of reformation. The Church of Pentecost, a non-profit religious organization, has committed to helping inmates re-enter society after prison term and promoting alternatives to incarcerators. Captured in his vision 2023 under the theme, Possessing the Nation. The overall goal is a church where members go to possess the nations by transforming every worldview, thoughts, and behavior with values and principles and lifestyles of the kingdom of God and thereby turning many people to Christ. In a strategic partnership with the Ghana Prison Service in developing the service with an initiative of constructing accommodation facility for selected prisons in the country as part of its effort to support government to ease congestion in those prisons. In this vision, the church is stretching a helping hand to certain institutions in Ghana that have needs. One of such institutions is the Ghana Prison Service. The phase one of the project was introduced to the church members in the United States during the Chairman's and International Missions Director's apostolization visit. They are going on strongly because there are forces behind them and they are taking over nations. But we sit in the churches, we stand and we stare and we are not saying anything. Possessing the nations. I am an agent of transformation. We want to thank the Lord for your lives. And we want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for your support for this vision. The COP International want to build these prisons to support the government and also make sure that the inmates, the people that find themselves in these prisons, will also have the opportunity to receive Christ. By the Church of Pentecost to put up prison facilities for the Ghana Prison Service is a big relief to the service. Currently, the Church of Pentecost is putting up an ultra modern prison facility at Ejira. I believe the vision is clear. So, COPUSA, what we want to do to support this vision is that we want to take a Jura project and build dormitories for them so that they can have a better place to stay while they are there. A place of worship and also a workshop. The reason why we need to do this is that by the time an inmate leaves prison, they will have the opportunity to accept Christ. They will be able to learn a trade so that when they come out, 
they can contribute their quota to society. Meanwhile, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost Apostle, Eric Kwabnanyamicha, has inspected the first phase of the project. This is going to help greatly in the area of reformation. It's also going to help greatly in the area of rehabilitation. Two things that the prison service is now out. As you listen to me, we want to give you the opportunity to sow into this vision. It's a very clear vision. So please, whatever you have, contact any COP minister. In USA, it is very, very important we started the project recently and we are about to finish we need some money to go and complete that project we want to finish the first phase at most by the end of the year do well to contribute and may the lord god almighty who continue to bless you the ghana prison service is grateful to the church of pentecost for this bold decision to help the service thank you for your prayer support and your contribution.